little bit of trigonometry, okay? So can you see the angle that's labeled here in the bottom left-hand corner? We're going to pretend that there's a person on the ground here looking up at the airplane. So we're going to try to find the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation. At what angle does the person on the ground need to rise their head, raise their head, in order to be able to see the airplane? Okay, so if we call this angle down here, if we just label it with a variable like a theta or an x or something, I'll use theta because we're in angles here, then you notice that we have a right triangle formed by the 1200, the 700, and the hypotenuse here, right, the length from the viewer to the airplane. So in this triangle, we have the angle theta. We're told that the airplane is 1200 uh, feet above ground, and the person is 700 feet from the airplane along the ground. So we need a trig function that's going to relate the opposite side, the opposite leg, with the adjacent leg. So let's call upon our tangent function. Tangent of theta inside of this picture would be the opposite leg, 1200, over the adjacent leg, 700. Again, opposite from the angle is across from the angle is 1200, and adjacent is right next to. So now if we wish to figure out what theta is, we need to undo the tangent so we undo the tangent with the tan inverse operator. So we will have the tangent inverse of 1200 over 700. So now, just grabbing a calculator on the side here, I'm doing the second option on the tangent, which is an arc tangent, 1200 over 700. And the calculator is giving me to two decimal places the answer of 59.74 degrees. So the angle of elevation from the ground to the airplane is 59.74 degrees. Okay, why don't you pause the video and try this next one on your own. I have the angle desired labeled up here in the top left. And assuming that you pause the video and try this on your own, you might notice here that it was a different angle because we're looking at the airplane and we're looking downwards towards the ground. So as opposed to calling this an angle of elevation, like the last problem, we call this an angle of depression. So when they say depression, they just mean that it's something upward or up above looking downward. Interestingly, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression are actually identical. In this picture, the angle of elevation would be down here. So these two angles are identical because of the alternate interior angles theorem. But at any rate, the picture is labeled nicely here. This time we have the opposite side, essentially the airplane is at an elevation of 750 and instead of having the distance along the ground this time we're given the distance of the airplane to the ground so along this uh, along this path so this might be like to a radar tower or a viewer on the ground so what is the angle through which the view from the airplane has to depress in order to see the ground at the spot indicated so opposite side opposite leg and hypotenuse means this time we're going to be using a sine function the sine of theta would be the opposite leg, which is 750, over the hypotenuse, which is 2,000. Then to figure out what the angle is, we'll have to inverse the sine. So theta is equal to sine inverse of 750 over 2,000. And as I stick this into my calculator, I'm using the second option on the sine. 750 divided by 2,000 and rounded to two decimal places this is giving me an answer of 22.02 degrees so the angle of depression is 22.02 degrees